parents, thank you for joining me on your child's back to school night. I'd like to welcome you on behalf of Carol S. Winograd and our principal, Ms. Holly Bressler. I am Danny Cass, your child's new first grade teacher. The first theme I'd like to draw your attention to is what we call the Friday folder. This folder will be sent home every Friday with your student containing the work that they've done throughout the week. It will also contain a new spelling list for the following week and a weekly newsletter entitled Cubs Buzz. We ask you to empty the contents of this folder every weekend with your child and have them discuss with you what they've been doing in the classroom. We then ask that you sign and date the back of the folder and return it empty the following Monday to be refilled for the next week. For every fourth time your child brings back their Friday folder, they will receive a prize for their efforts. Your child will also be taking home a weekly tea time card on Monday of every week. In order for your child to be a successful and fluent reader in first grade, they need to be reading on a daily basis. We ask that they read 20 minutes a day and record it in the following boxes to accumulate a total of 100 minutes per week. We then ask that your students fill out some additional information about one of the books that they read while filling out their tea time card. Your child is asked to return their tea time card on Friday of the same week that they bring it home. If your child returns their tea time card every week for one month, they will receive a personal pan pizza prize donated by Pizza Hut. Now you may be surprised to hear that your first grade will be asked to complete homework every night. As I said earlier, in order for your student to be a successful and fluent and confident reader in first grade, they need to be reading every day. In the classroom, your child will read a mini book on a daily basis containing sight words and the phonetic sounds that we are working on. This mini book will be your child to take home at the end of every day. We ask that you keep their mini book as a collection of books that your child can read independently outside of the classroom. Your student's homework is to read their mini book and fill out their tea time card every day. Finally, I'd like to share some of the exciting topics and units that we will be covering over the course of the year. Your students will get an opportunity to investigate rocks and plants and science and Abraham Lincoln and Africa in social studies. We ask that you become involved in these units and topics as much as possible, getting your children to discuss them and share what they've been doing in the classroom. If you have any more questions about how to become involved in our classroom as a volunteer or about any of the information that you've heard tonight, I encourage you to contact me directly. We would love for you to be a part of our classroom and a member of be involved in what is happening with us and in your student lives. I would like to get to know both you and your student more personally throughout the school year and looking forward to the time that we will have together. Thank you again.